Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my Booktubeathon wrap up. It ended a few days ago. Without further ado, let's just get into this. Okay, so the first book that I read in Booktubeathon was The Magician's Nephew, which is actually technically the first book in The Chronicles of Narnia. Um, but it was published like years after like The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So I love the way this bind up novel is um, with all seven of the books because even though it does not go off publication date, it goes off of how the order of the Chronicles of Narnia should have been. One of the things for Book Tubathon, one of the challenges was to flip a coin to decide your first book. And I had a toss up between either starting the Chronicles of Narnia or one of my other book tubeathon books that I was thinking of doing was by Seanan McGuire. And that was the, um, is it Down Among the Sticks and Bones? Or anyways, it was one of those first books and I didn't bring it with me today. But um, anyway, so this one, the co coin toss. So I read book number one in the Chronicles of Narnia and that is called The Magician's Nephew. I gave it four stars, rating it PG, because it does have the word damn in it a few times, which is fine, but that's not why it's not rated G, technically. Um, and maybe I need to make a video someday on how I rate books like they are movies. Like, why do I rate this? Or why do I rate it PG-13 or whatever? So, another video for another time. But for now, I gave this four stars. I love The Magician's Nephew. I'm really glad I read it first. I've never read it. It was a really good segue to get started before you hit The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It kind of gives you a little bit of background story a little bit before like Peter and Edwin and Susan and Lucy come into the picture. So I thought it was really, it was just really cute. And one of the challenges to read a book of something that you want to do, and of course going to Narnia would be totally bitchin'. Book number two in Book Tubathon that I finished, of course, I went right into The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I gave that four stars as well. It is rated G. I, I've read The Lion, and the Witch, and the Wardrobe like when I was in high school, maybe junior high, but I don't remember a ton of it. The only reason why I remember it so well is because of the movie. So this is part of the challenge of a book to movie adaptation that applied, and I still loved the whole The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, I love Tumson, Tumlin, Tumson, whatever the fawn guy was. I loved all the, new, you know, the original characters, which is Lucy and Susan and Peter and Edmund. The only thing that was much different for me this time around reading The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is I remember when I first read it, I hated Edmund. Like, I loathed him. He was just such a jerk. And how could he betray his family? And blah, blah, blah. And then even re watching the movie, like, you have this deep down, like, hatred for their brother Edmund. This time around reading the book, I didn't get that. Like, I actually felt more sorry for him and I could understand and relate with him more. So I don't know if it's because now that I've read it as an adult, I'm seeing it in a different light than when I did when I was a kid. I don't know. But that was something that kind of blew me away that I was a little bit surprised about. Number three that I read, and this one was kind of on a whim because it was part of my July TBR, but I really didn't get into it until the very, very end of July, so I just included it into my booktubeathon. And that was the, the book Flight, which is the second book in the Septimus Heap series. Got this very good Harry Potter feel to it. But of course it's a completely different story, but there's like a magic system and there's wizards and there's dragons and there's animals and there's creepy things, weird imaginary things, but there's good magic, there's bad magic. Loved it. Well, anyways, I dived into book number two and I've loved this and dragons are more intertwined into this one. There's a lot more evil going on and just the shenanigans that Septimus and his sister Jenna get into. It's just adorable how they handle things, but at the same time, like it's just, it's just such a good middle grade series and I'm really liking it. I can't wait to get into the third one. 
And this one I included as a challenge as a book with green on the cover for one of the Booktubeathon challenges. The fourth book I got into for Booktubeathon was the third novel in the Chronicles of Narnia, which is The Horse and His Boy, which is about a young boy, Shasta, who has been raised by a fisherman who's not very nice to him, but he puts food on the table and a roof over his head. And one day a mysterious man shows up with a talking horse. So the talking horse and Shasta decide to escape together and try to go and seek refuge in Narnia. So you have this adventure of this boy Shasta and his horse Bree. Just the character growth that happens with Shasta as he is traveling and having this adventure and just trying to stay away from the people that are, you know, kind of after him. You get to find the backstory of him and then how it intertwines into Narnia. And I have a feeling that the more books I read in the Chronicles of Narnia, I have no doubt that his horse Bree and Shasta will come back into other novels. So I really enjoyed it. I rated it four stars, rated it PG, no, G. I rated this one G. And I loved it, it was good, it's such a good one. Highly recommend it. And I forgot to mention, in my flight book, I rated this a five star, and this is also PG. Did I read? No, G. There's no swearing, there's nothing in it. It's just a perfect, whimsical, Harry Potter-esque, wizard, magical, middle grade novel. Loved it. Unfortunately, those were the only four books that I finished during Booktubeathon. So, without further ado, I included book four, The Horse and His Boy, as part of my beautiful spine because this bind up is just gorgeous when it's on my shelf. It's got, you know, it sticks out because it's super black and it's got the gold lettering but has this fire lion on it and it's just absolutely gorgeous when it is on my shelf. But unfortunately, I didn't finish all the challenges and I didn't get to seven books. I did not. Towards the end of the weekend, towards the end of Booktubeathon, I just started to tank because I took on a couple of extra new accounts with my business that I own. So that kind of took precedence over the weekend. And then my week was just so crazy, including my weekend, that I had a lot of downtime that I could have read, but instead I decided to just spend more time with my family, my husband, and just, I feel like we've just been going and going and going. And then with my kids and football and stuff, my husband and I are in this like relationship right now where it's like, hi, bye, see you later roommate kind of thing and so this weekend I decided to just like set everything aside and spend time with my kids spend time with my husband pretend we like each other like there's just weeks or months where they just seem so busy that you forget like you know what I really haven't sat and had time with my kids or I really haven't had time to have like an actual conversation with my husband in like weeks because we're constantly coming or going so that's part of one of the reasons why I kind of tanked towards the end of Booktubeathon as well as I had accumulated some new accounts with my business and so I was trying to kind of get those up and running. Sometimes at the very beginning when I have new accounts it can kind of take a lot of time for me to just kind of get a feel for them, set things up. Without that, I think I did pretty good. Four books in one week and I mean they're pretty chunky books. so. I got like halfway through this sucker. It's huge, so I'm not complaining at all. Um, so not only did I not complete the challenge of seven books, I also didn't complete the challenge of wear a hat the entire time while you're reading one book. I think that was the only two challenges that I didn't complete. Everything else I did, I did not participate in any Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter challenges. I just don't have time for that stuff. Um, I wish I did because I think it would just be so much more fun on my channel, but unfortunately, I just didn't have time. Okay, sorry about that cutoff, but I had my phone anchored onto my windshield and because it is 95 degrees outside, my phone completely shut down and said it was overheated because it's like in the sun and I didn't even think about that. So I kind of forgot where I left off. But anyways, without further ado, thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoyed Booktubeathon. I can't wait till next year. Yeah.
you guys want to follow me on Instagram? I'm always posting stuff on Instagram. I do have a Facebook page, but I really don't post much on it. But if you liked my video and you want to keep following some of my progress with the books or readathons that I do, then please like and subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.